Hello there, my name's Jonathan Porterfield of Eco Cars and another great LPG Citroen Berlingo van. And it's with the BRC factory of Citroen approved BRC gas system. Rather neatly, Citroen allow extra space behind the filler to fit the LPG nozzle. So very professional looking LPG installation on these Berlingo vans. So it's the new shape Berlingo, it's the X trim, which uh, means you get uh, central locking, but it's non-remote, it's just on a key. But they do uh, represent excellent value for money and very, very cheap to run. So it's been used by an environmental company, an asbestos type company, which I'll show you on the V5 in a moment. So it's boarded out and it's got like a bench arrangement here. And behind this box, there is a 100 litre tank. So if you're a courier or a long range delivery driver, this van is just for you because the range on LPG, as well as the normal petrol tank, is absolutely phenomenal with that 100 litre tank. So, boarded out, it's very clean. We've still got the proper spare wheel underneath the rear of the van, which usually is where the gas tank goes, but this, is, this has got the uh, extra large tank, which is behind the bulkhead. Fitted by our friends CLS Dual Fuel from New. Um, I think it's had an electrical appliance fitted, so because there's a connection here slot in the bodywork in order for you to place a cable so you can have an exterior uh, plug-in source. It's very clean as you can see. Being the X trim we get two seats in the front. Driver's seat has got an armrest which is rather nice. And so we've got that cage arrangement and just behind here is the LPG tank. We get electric windows, height adjustable seat belts, some nice storage area at the top and it's very clean for a 10 plate course it's not shown any signs of wear i think it spent most of its life sat on the motorway to be honest nice clean door card we can adjust the wing mirrors manually here um, and we've got electric front windows as well so i'll show you some more features so inside the Blingo, we get a single shot cd player which also comes with steering wheel controls for the sound system so single shot cd player and fm radio We've got to normal heating controls and recirculate, hazard warning lights to lock and unlock the doors, a little power point, cigarette light, it's never ever been used, which is nice to see. Doesn't smell of smoke in here either or any undue odours. Electric front windows and that's the all important BRC LPG switch we'll come back to in a moment. Five speed manual gearbox, plenty of storage down here to uh, Keep various items, nice glove box. I've got all the documents here that came with the van. Um, a user manual and all the various parts for the vehicle, including the BRC CLS dual fuel manual, which is showing when it was fitted. The 22nd of the 4th, 2010, so the day it was registered, it was fitted to LPG, with LPG. Now it's good to see this comprehensive LPG service that it's had. So after a month, it was serviced at 3,000 miles, then at 12,900, then at 20, and last at 40,000 miles. So it's had a good, comprehensive LPG service, and it runs absolutely spot on on LPG. Just a quick user guide to tell you what the lights on the switch mean which I'll explain to you as well. And like I said the handbook is there as well. Now I'll show you the rest of the documents uh, in a moment. So I'll just show you the V5. So it was leased, well owned by Lucian Environmental of uh, Gateshead. No previous keepers. Date is registration there, the 22nd of April 2010, so it's not due its first MOT till the 22nd of April 2013. Still registered as a light goods vehicle, so the road tax on this is £215 per year. So you'd be down as the second keeper. There's just an invoice here for the last LPG service. And the LPG, the normal car service is also going to follow, and this will be on the website, um, hopefully by the end of today. So, we just start the car like a normal car. 
it's due a service it's saying there on the indicator in 10,800 miles so it has been serviced but we will confirm that go through all its various checks click straight after gas as you've just heard guarantee the mileage there 60,355 miles all the warning lights go out we have the LPG gauge at the top here and then obviously the level in the LPG tank is denoted by these four lights at the bottom of this switch. Turn the system off, press the middle, top switch turns to red, turn the gas system back on, red light turns to amber, turns to green and then it's running an LPG. And this, oh, you don't have to do this every time you start, it automatically does it. It will automatically start upon petrol, I'll just show you start on petrol hear a click from the back there we go and then it turns to amber and turns to green so when it's warm it, turn, it clicks over to LPG in about five to ten seconds so everything is working as it should now when you run out of LPG auto gas it will automatically default back to petrol and does a continuous beep so to stop the beep and you turn the system off and then obviously remembering once you've filled up with gas again to turn the system back on we have a little trick computer at the top date and time range left on petrol 65 miles um, and it's averaging 30 miles to the gallon which uh, it's been sitting here idly so you'll get about 35 36 to the gallon on a run which of course in price terms means that you'll return around 70 miles to the gallon in price terms running on LPG. So lovely van, got all the histories here as well, we will get that later on today on the website and I'll just walk you around the outside of this van now. So under the bonnet of the Berlingo we've got the four BRC gas injectors on the gas rail, an inline filter and then down the back there is the vapour unit and down here is the BRC ECU, the engine control unit which changes the timing of the engine. So everything is as it should be, it's HPI clear, there are no signs of any new parts, the side of the engine is lovely and dry and as you can see we've given it a quick clean this morning, it's in very very nice clean condition. So before I walk you around this van, pointing out marks, I'll just take you for a short test drive. So welcome to the test drive. Start the car up, or start the van up rather. Pulls away very cleanly. Clutch feels fine, it's about half up the pedal. It doesn't snatch or uh, feel unusual or worn in any way at all. So second gear, pulling up this hill. First thing you notice if you've been driving a diesel van for years is how quiet and smooth an LPG powered van is. Um, it doesn't pull to the left or the right, switch it straight over to LPG, of which we're paying 61 pence a litre at the minute, so more than half price uh, fuel compared to diesel which is around about £1.40 so a um, huge savings to be have had with an LPG van fitted with one of the best systems as well, BRC so 5th gear, 2000 revs, 45 miles an hour it drives very well indeed, doesn't pull to the left or the right it drives nice and straight and it eyes just like all the other LPG Berlingo vans that were sold in the past, so I don't think we'll have this for long at all. So I'll just pull over, again, discs are fine, they're not limped and they don't pull to the left or the right, and uh, it sounds lovely as well, a lovely quiet sound when you come to a stop. So uh, I'll just take you now for a short walk around this van. So welcome back from the test drive. Um, I'll show you the windscreen, it's got the odd tiny tiny mark but no serious chips, It wouldn't. Uh, there aren't any chips that would fail an MOT, there's just minuscule marks there but I'm being really picky. The front tyre I'd say is about two and a half, three millimetres and they've all got steel wheels 
uh, which could all benefit from a, a, a repaint. I will endeavour to get these repainted because it would smarten up these steel rims. Wing mirror is fine. The sides are dent free. There's some little chips here uh, which we will touch in with a white Citroen touching pen. This rear tyre, this Avon, oh, was a good five, six millimetres on that. And again, the steel wheel, it's just been washed. Could benefit with being resilvered. So we will get this repainted so it looks nice and smart. The rear bumper, it's got the odd tiny mark on it. The rear doors are dent free. The roof is dent free. The lenses are all good. This rear Michelin, like the other rear tyres, about five, six millimetres. And again, we'll get this repainted because it's just looking a little bit, little bit tired. This side is fine. The wing mirror is fine. The front near side wheel, again, as you can see, the silverings come off, so we'll get these repainted. Smarten this up considerably. And again, like the other front wheel, I'd say two and a half to three millimetres on that front Avon tyre. The car will be taxed when it's sold from our website. The lenses are good. There's no scrapes to the front bumper at all. Usually there's sometimes a seem to be scraped, but this is very, very clean indeed. Leading edge of the bonnet, it's showing the odd tiny chip, which I will touch in. But it's very clean. No chips or dents to speak of. I didn't point out that the fact that the upholstery is very clean. There are no rips or tears. Let me show you the passenger seat. Get no rips or tears or undue odours. Front passenger footwell, very, very clean indeed. So, what a smart van. The X trim will be cheaper to run than the diesel version of this uh, Bolingo van. And uh, up on the miles, but it runs very well indeed, as you'll have seen from the test drive. So if you'd like any more information about this or any of our LPG eco-friendly vans and cars, then feel free to contact me, Jonathan, here at Eco Cars. Thanks for watching.